Hello and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Stellaris with the Bacturian Collective. We need to hand off a few planets before I do much of anything else. Seems to me that these are some obvious choices. Let's take a look-see. Um, Glug die. You should be fully upgraded at this point. We're just waiting for a couple more populations to grow. We'll upgrade these, I guess. Actually... Cancel that. I'll let the sector pay for that. That's no big deal. But yeah, you're pretty much done. What about here? Looks like every tile has something queued up, so I don't think the sectors are going to mess this up. Unfortunately, our guys just aren't happy enough. So frustrating. Okay. So yeah, I think that both of these planets are ready to be handed off to a sector if I can find the right one. The Glug Bafr sector. Let's go to our empire. Go to our planets. The Glugbaf Manage Sector. Now, how can I hand stuff off to them without giving them resources I want to keep? If I click this, I don't care about the Aurelium. Give them that, this, and then this. Yeah? I think that's all it takes. Close. Is this all considered part of the same sector now? It looks like it's all broken up in weird ways, though. Which kind of makes me feel suspicious. But no, it says it's got three different planets. However... Oh, that's interesting. Wait a minute. That only went down by one. One star system? I thought this was by colonized planetary systems. Is it star system? If that's the case then I want to hold on to as many um, stars that have multiple planets as possible, like this one right here. Two continental worlds that are huge. Colonize this, hold on, does that only count as one colonized system? That's the implication I'm seeing here. If so, I have misunderstood some very important things. Huh. Okay then, well, what other planets can we hand off? I guess we should create a new sector for these guys, so they get some level of self-governance. That should make them happy, right? Yeah, I think it will. Alright. Let's create a new sector. I'll give you all of this. Sector's missing resources. I guess we have to give them this. See, I would think that we can tell say, hey, I want to allocate one of my Batharian stone to a sector, but no. I think you have to actually give them the, the planetary system that has the Batharian, or else they can't work it. Like so. Alright. So that's two less planets to worry about, and now we should be good. Let's close this. Okay, now we have four sectors to play with. So we gotta be careful about that. Uh... This science ship is taking ridiculously long to survey everything. It's making me kind of mad, actually. Like, seriously. You've had many, many years to survey, like, six star systems. I don't see how this is complicated. But apparently it is. Nationalist sabotage! Shocker. Alright, let's take a look at some of these planets. This is a good large planet. It has, again, the physics output. Yay. We should upgrade the planetary administration ASAP. These guys are super duper unhappy. We'll recruit a few defensive armies here. On this planet, we already have the planetary capital. We could upgrade a few things. You have enough food. I don't see really much need for more minerals, but I do see some need for more energy. But I'm going to get the virtual combat arena too. So let's go ahead and build that there. And over here, I guess we'll build a power plant. I know it's not taking advantage of the minerals, but who cares, really? Energy is more valuable to me than minerals. It's a very simple calculation. And I guess we should go ahead and build a few defensive armies here as well. The robots cost the same. I'd rather do that, because I feel like the robots might be um, loyal to me. This planet sucks. Can I abandon a planet? <laughs> I don't think so. Wait, I have two planets next to each other here. Oh, you colonized the moon. 
Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can just abandon the small planet here. But if I'm right about the star systems as opposed to the um, planetary systems, then it doesn't actually hurt us at all. Or does it? Does the extra moon here add to an extra 10% base cost to all of my research like everything else? Or does the individual star system do that? See, these are the things I don't understand. I wish I knew. Also, who are... Wait. You have a moon in my territory? It says that it's mine, but it's got their symbol. I don't understand this one at all. But okay, let's get a couple defensive armies. I guess we'll go ahead and clear out the food. Uh, build a frontier clinic. Sure. And on this much larger Arctic world, we have a Batharian plant. But we do not have enough Batharian stone anymore. Because it would appear that I let you keep one of the star systems that has the Batharian. A military academy was built here. That's interesting. Don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and replace you with a proper power plant. Um, on this place, I will build the virtual combat arena. And yeah, we'll go ahead and build a few defensive armies as well. We do need to build more spaceports too. I am losing 0.65 influence per month right now, which is exactly how much I am spending on my edicts. Frontier outposts. Where do I have more frontier outposts? Do I need these anymore? I know I had one up here. Where was the second one? Here. This one is providing a fair bit of stuff for me as far as strategic resources. This is mostly just providing some energy. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I don't think it's worth it. Let's disband. I don't want to lose more influence. I'm probably about to lose some of these resources, but I don't care. They'll just go to my vassal instead. So it's not a huge loss. Now we are gaining 0.35. It's not a lot, but it's something. Pollen Worship. Fringe elements on Wulgan Prime have banded together to form a quasi-religious organization seeking to control all aspects of the Marin Karin flower and its cultivation. Their leader, a self-styled green hierophant of this flower temple, claims to speak for all flora and fauna on Wulgan Prime and demands exclusive trading rights for the planet. This is, of course, completely unacceptable and impossible, as the native flora of Wulgan Prime is of little strategic or economic value and thus may not be bought off-world by law. Unfortunately, they are unlikely to accept this fact gracefully. I think I need some defensive armies. Let's build a few. Before I click this, make sure it doesn't do anything too crazy. I suspect they're going to try to declare independence and become like a spiritualist faction. Or something like that. We'll find out. Um, on Elam, or not Elam, sorry, on Tiffim, did our fleets finally arrive or did they get all confused? There we go. Now they can enter orbit. That was bizarre. I'm really not too sure why they were having so much trouble just entering orbit. Last time, anyway. You guys may remember that. Okay. Well, now everyone should be in orbit. Let's group them all up. And now we have a good 30-ish... Uh, well, 29, but almost 30,000 power fleet. Very, very good. Okay. All right, all right, okay. Expanding rapidly is proving quite tricky for me. It really is. We need you to finish surveying these systems, please. You're taking forever to do what I would consider some basic stuff. When can I declare war on these guys again? It doesn't say. Declare war. There it is. Okay. Not for another couple of years. Good. What about these guys? Uh, we can declare war on them if we want to. They're pathetic. These guys are inferior. We could declare war, feed some more stuff off, get these vassal things moving, get some more humiliation, get more influence for us. Which I think actually could be a good use of time. And we have enough energy production that we should be able to use the fleet. 
and I won't take any more planets out of this arrangement, so it's not actually going to hurt us as far as our planetary development, which is good. Uh, we should upgrade this immediately, of course, but now I am out of influence. System survey complete. Finally, one down, and there's nothing new here. Good to know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think declaring war on these guys could be good. Suppose I did that, right? I would fight the centralized disk planets, which is this little guy here. I, I can only humiliate one at a time, though. I wish they weren't allied, so I de declare a couple of um, separate wars. But that's not going to happen, apparently. Okay. So we want to clear on them. We want to humiliate them. That'll get me an extra 100 influence. I want to liberate a planet. This one. Comophoros. Let's see. Do, 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 There you are. Liberate you. That'll create a new little person that we could vassalize. And I want to conquer Lyrum, or Lyrum. So let's go up to the conquest side of things. It's not... Th this list is a little on the tedious side. Lyrum, 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 where are you? It's just not very well organized, and the buttons are just too big for my, uh... For my screen here. Alright, we want to give it to them. Okay. And then we want to hand off these two to this vassal here. So, Antanagar here goes to the Athelid Star Dominion. That's two planets in this one system. We also want a Thule. There it is to go here. That's too much war score, apparently. Barely, but it is. Okay. Hmm. Not good enough. Maybe this little vassal doesn't get anyone new for a little bit. Now we have an 85 score. Is there anything I can give you that's smaller? Like a 10 war score planet? I guess I could just... I, I could do like some open borders. Is there anything worth like only 15? Opera... This one up here. Nope, too far away. Kuzom. What's in uh, Karasta? Karasta, Karasta, Karasta. I don't see you. There you are. Nope, too much. Eh, I think we just do this. 85 war score seems fine. So I have to fight all these guys. But all in all, this seems okay. Confirm. We should pretty much just always be at war. We're a militarist, after all. It's just sort of what we do. So, okay. Let's go here. I'm gonna split the fleet. Send this half over here. Now we don't have enough energy. Why? Building maintenance, module maintenance, ship maintenance. I think it's because we have a bunch of planets that are so unhappy they're just not producing much. Make sure we tax these guys sufficiently as well. See, these guys are capped, and I, I'm not getting all their extra energy. That just makes me sad. I should get all of it, as far as I'm concerned. Oh well. So we are losing a teeny bit of energy, but nothing I'm too worried about at this point. I prefer to just keep declaring wars and humiliating as many people as possible to get as much influence as possible. Could have attacked some of these small little guys, but whatever. Hmm... Okay. Uh, you apparently were building more stuff. I forgot that you were building these stations. Beginning of Pollen's End. The Flower Temple and its followers now make up a sizable minority of the population on Wolgan Prime, and reports indicate a disturbing change in the movement. Their futile attempts to smuggle Marankaran specimen off-world have been growing less enthusiastic by the day, as the Flower Temple seems to be transitioning into a doomsday cult. There is likely a correlation with the recent changes in the Marankaran pol uh, pollen chemical makeup 
detected by atmospheric sensors. A special project has been prepared, again, to assess the risks associated with this, and it is recommended to complete it before something goes horribly, horribly wrong. Alright. Go do it. Uh, you. Okay, and then afterwards you can go back to Elam and assist research. Okie dokie do. Only got a few hundred minerals. I actually do need more mineral production. Hmm. You know, one thing I could do in order to try and get some more energy. Since the Burgess sector is rich as heck, I could try to hand them off some planets that aren't... Uh, sorry, some star systems that aren't producing energy but are costing me otherwise. So like this, for example. I should get the full amount of research, but now I don't have to pay for the energy. I think that's how that works. Let's test it real quick. Manage sector. Right now making 280 if I hand this off. Still 280. Okay. Anything else I want to hand you right now? The rest of these do produce some energy, and I'd rather hold those myself. So no, let's close that. What about this sector? What are you called? Where's the name? There you are, the Poblina Sector. What if I go to you? You have uh, excess of energy. Manage Sector. Tell him to do this. 257, 247. Still seems okay. And this? Hmm. My energy costs are definitely going down. Okay. We'll hand you all of this, then. Doesn't seem to have cost me much in the way of energy in the first place. But it doesn't seem to have affected my science at all. So basically, any star systems that do not produce energy, and I'm willing to lose a little bit of um, minerals in the form of taxes, I should probably hand all that off to sectors. Correct? I think so. Alright, our fleets got caught out over here, and I wasn't paying attention, but I do think we're going to be fine. Uh, still 246 naval capacity. Migration treaties. <sighs> Maybe we should allow this. Maybe this would allow some of our loyal populations to move over here, and then when I eventually annex them, they'll be of the right ethos and they'll be happy? And they won't be recently conquered? I'm gonna try it. Thus far, I have been against all migration, but we're gonna try it. Just sort of see what happens. Still haven't lost anything. Go and... Blockade those planets. Okay. There's construction ships trying to make a, a move, but I don't care too much about that. We actually should crush... Okay, hang on. We should destroy their wormhole generators. That way the Athelid nation is less likely to get over here. And we should take our army. I can't recruit any new special assault armies, so that's fine. We're, we've been doing just great with only nine. Go here. Uh, enter orbits. Why is this uh, construction ship still heading over here? He's gonna get caught out and die. You know it, right? You know it, I know it. Yep. He just got in range, and... Okay. Well, good job. Alright, we're gonna allow our vassals to have the migration. I'm curious how that's gonna work. These guys are very unhappy with me at disappear. Yep. But, wh wh why? Because I don't like you. Because I'm going to feed a new vassal all of you, so I can create an ally. Possibly form a federation, or just take it all for myself. I haven't really decided yet. I'm going to take, like, this corner of the galaxy. Ally here, ally here, ally here. Four of us, federation, win the game. Or just conquer it and deal with it myself, you know. It's another solution. Apparently we have to destroy the station because it got in our way. Disaster averted. Quick and decisive action allowed us to identify the risks associated with the rapid changes in the Polum native to Morgan Prime and take the necessary steps. A complete evacuation of the planet and a pesticide bombing run. The planets were rapidly mutating and their unique pollen wood, had they not been destroyed, soon have begun delivering a potent neurotoxin to the olfactory organs of all sentient life. 
but scientists on the Colonization Council theorize that this is a part of the natural cycle of the planet, and the pollen's adverse effects on us in the form of a crumbling local administration, the rise of flower tumble cult, and the eventual pollen toxicity were chance side effects rather than the product of a plant's sinister self-defense mechanism. Regardless, any and all traces of the flower have been wiped from the planet's surface, and our colony is now safe. So if I go to Wolgan Prime, all those negative effects are gone, right? Yep, they're all gone now. Huh. Okay. I mean, sure. It's not a big deal. Ah, <sighs> Wolgan Prime. I will not be able to upgrade this until I get more influence. Which is going to take a very long time as things currently stand. I do want to end this war. Let's see. Hostile Fleet. Here you... Where, where are you? Ah! Over here. Okay. Uh, you are going to try to engage here, are you? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be fine, but we may take a few losses to some of our Corvettes. No, wait. They're trying to go somewhere else. Where are you trying to go? Following first Navy cluster. They seem to have been... They are warping. They're going into hyperspace. Where are they going? Are they going after my vassal? I think they are. Well, I don't care about that. Go ahead. Have fun. Oh, I thought maybe these guys stopped and were engaging each other in hyperspace for a second there. I was like, that can't be possible, right? Eh, maybe not. Maybe it can. Who knows? <laughs> we have gotten a lot larger right lately. These guys are trying to trick me. It's like, hey... I have hostile fleets in your systems! Oh, they're construction ships! I mean, I get that they're just, like, scouting and stuff, but seriously. Alright. Well, now that that's done... Go and blockade and bombard this fleet down for a little bit. I'm hoping that they will come to me... So that I can squish them. As it is... There's a lot over here. Yeah, they're making my vassal forced to retreat. It's fine. There's another 86 power there. Inactive buildings, huh? Alright, I'm not going to do anything with Wolga Prime for a little bit. Cider Prime. They're still working on upgrading the uh, ship shelter. We'll build a basic science lab after that. You have an inactive building. This one. Do you have any populations doing nothing? Doesn't appear so. I think we're fine. Okay. We are upgrading this as well. I should probably... Are these guys, like, just not habitable here? What's wrong? These guys just really hate me. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I find that a little odd. Because we did uh, release these guys a long time ago, and they created the... Uh, they had our same ethos, but the government had our same ethos... The population appears to be entirely pacifists. Which is going to be very sad for you when I build the uh, virtual combat arena and force you to watch your brothers engage in, uh... in bloodshed. And I will laugh. I will laugh a lot. Hmm. Okay, we are working on that. Still working on the Frontier Clinic here. I don't think I need a lot of food production here, to be honest. So instead... I'm gonna worry about getting just some basic buildings. Okay. Ah, uh, how long until we can bombard this planet? Wait, what's engaged? Oh, another construction ship for some reason decided they want to come over here. I don't get it. I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe it's an AI trick to try and force you to get off of the bombardment for a minute so they can recover, but I really doubt it. Really, really doubt it. Then again, it seems to have worked. These guys have gone to sleep. They're not bombarding anymore. It actually did pull them off the planet, and they weren't smart enough to go back to bombarding. That doesn't make sense to me. That seems really stupid. Huh. Maybe the AI is smarter than I gave them credit for. Oh, well. 
All right, well, that's enough for today. Thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.